the story of Angel Gabriel, among other things, that you will read in the Bible or hear in a church is that he or she is the Archangel of Revelation, Motherhood, Creation, and Temperance. You will also be told that Gabriel, like the other archangels and angels, was created between the first and second days of creation. The most important thing you will know about him is that he is God's personal messenger, as well as his intercessor with humanity, and he is always on missions in Father's name. In fact, he is the moral polar opposite of Beelzebub, Satan's left hand. He is caring, loving, and obedient. Whereas, Beelzebub is hateful, cruel, deceptive, and idiotic. I believe, all that you may have ever heard about him are all good deeds. In fact, was he not even the one that was said to have visited Mary, the mother of Jesus to announce his birth? How much good can an angel do that this? And even in the Quran, Angel Gabriel, known as Jibril, was credited with revealing the messages of God, as the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad. Now, in this video I will be revealing another side of Angel Gabriel that you may not know, a side that is often hidden from the biblical teachings concerning him, probably because he is one of the good guys among the angels, so anything bad about him was removed, and there was not need to talk about his dark side. Well, I will dwell on his dark sides that is often hidden from you, using different texts other than the Bible, so that you can have a proper knowledge of the personality of this wonderful angel. The Powers and Abilities of Angel Gabriel Gabriel, the third oldest of the archangels, is one of the most powerful beings on the planet. He is third in power, after Michael and Lucifer, and above Raphael and Uriel, both of whom are noted to be quite powerful in their own right. Gabriel's strength and combat prowess were first demonstrated when he engaged in battle with Beelzebub, the second in command of Lucifer's rebel army, and then Mammon defeating both. During his time on earth, Gabriel went unnoticed by humans and other supernatural beings for many years, with even the sons of Sparta, werewolves, and others completely unaware of his true identity despite their highly developed senses and perception. Another revelation to his power was when he massacred the entire Nephilim race, though he did not physically fight them but rather instilled their lust for unrestrained devastation and bloodshed by having them murder each other. However, Gabriel implies that despite their great and fearsome power, he could have easily killed them himself but did not wish to tint his hands with their blood. Gabriel also casually destroyed Rani Schiato, a complete homunculus who ruled over the fabric of space and time. Much later in history, during the apocalypse, Gabriel confronted Lucifer and engaged in fierce combat with his fallen brother. Despite Lucifer being more powerful than him, Gabriel was shown to hold fairly well against him, with Lucifer even displaying small signs of struggle before being defeated. Even during Gregorian invasion, Gabriel fought and defeated three of the fallen Watchers. Additionally, some of the Watchers voiced concern about defeating Gabriel, implying how powerful the Archangel is in comparison to them. Gabriel later joined his brothers and sisters in the fight against the fallen sentinel after the Scarlet King was freed and marauded across creation towards the Tree of Life. Gabriel was able to land several devastating blows on the Scarlet King before being overpowered. Among these operations, it is believed that he was the one that was to destroy the towns of Sodom and Gomorrah, the one who killed the mighty Nephilim during Enoch's time and the angel of death who killed all the firstborn in Egypt. There are many confusion as to who the real angel is, but Angel Gabriel is definitely one of the angels that assists to bring devastation and death as directed by God. Killing humans, even if they were evildoers does not add up to his personality as one of the good guys. Angel Gabriel has a terrifying appearance. Humans cannot see Gabriel's true form, as with the other angels. Its light is said to be so powerful that it consumes the eyes of those who are exposed to it and blows up the eardrums of those who hear it. As a true archangel, Gabriel's appearance changes depending on what the angel desires or requires at the time. Gabriel, on the other hand, will always have at least 1 to 12 pairs of golden wings on his back, though they can also be white wings with blue tips that shine brighter than the dawn. Gabriel, who is an angel, like other demons, 
can possess human vessels, but only with the person's permission. Gabriel's most powerful vessel was the man depicted above, a man of deep faith and holiness. The prophet Daniel described Gabriel in that vessel as having a body of beryl, a face like lightning, eyes like torches of fire, arms and feet shining like burnished bronze, and a voice like the voice of a crowd. This vessel was remembered by many because it saw and conquered the greatest adventures. Gabriel's vessel in the future appears to be a man in his twenties with silvery hair and amber-yellow eyes. Gabriel is usually dressed in a white t-shirt and a dark sweatshirt over blue pants. He appears on a few occasions with a detective's cap on his head, which he usually wears when investigating the case. He uses detective's cap when examining the mysterious elements of creation. Gabriel appears in his female vessel as a woman in her early twenties, with thigh-length blonde hair with red spikes and bright blue eyes. Gabriel has medium breasts, a fine waist, and hips in this form. She is dressed in a white t-shirt underneath a red sweatshirt and a brown skirt that reaches her feet. She is also dressed in dark boots. Among his brothers, Gabriel is known as the trickster. He does not, however, lie. He has a deep grasp on the flow, application, and reliability of magical energy. Among his brothers, he is the most skilled at using spells and attacks, and he can even use multiple spells and attacks simultaneously for various combination and diversion tactics. He is so knowledgeable that he assisted Sparta in imprisoning and temporarily cutting off Satan's relation on Earth. Gabriel, according to Lucifer, is unpredictable. Gabriel is rarely serious or gloomy. Most of the time, he appears as a humble, positive, calm, and friendly angel. When triggered and angered enough, he can be horrifyingly calm and silent while revealing his more sinister, cold, and ruthless side, more terrifying than Lucifer himself because the devil shivers when a kind man loses his patience. This demonstrates that he, like his brother Michael, can be frightening. He demonstrated this by slaughtering a group of angels and demons who killed innocent people in their battle against each other, and nearly killing the archdemon Empress Lilith if Amidiel and Japhiel did not intervene. Also, despite his good intentions to protect and love humanity, Gabriel has limitations. Such as when he witnesses the mortals inherited evil, such as seeing them knee-deep in sin, cruelty, greed, lust for power, pride in their status, and so on. Gabriel becomes grim, inhumanely sarcastic, and indifferent to such human behavior whenever he witnesses it. This is when he allows the ghost riders and hell spawns to punish the guilty, wicked, and sinners while looking at them coldly and emotionlessly and claims that humans who have no remorse and embrace their inner wickedness should be dealt with and sent to eternal torture and affliction, none other than hell. He asserts that it is for the betterment of those who are pure of heart and soul. Myths, legends and famous stories about Angel Gabriel. The most striking is his aiding of the Dark Knight. After defeating the seven kings of hell and destroying their forces, it is said that Sparta received assistance from Gabriel who banished the princes by conjuring a powerful binding spell that bound them to their respective circles and prevented them from approaching the physical world. Gabriel only gave Sparta directions discreetly, with Sparta never knowing Gabriel's true identity. The Archangel was intrigued by the Dark Knight and kept a close eye on him over the centuries. On occasion, Gabriel would appear in front of Sparta and his companions as a random citizen, offering them words of wisdom or ways to overcome a growing threat. Gabriel's fascination with the demon caused him to keep an eye on his next of kin, the Sparta sons. He did not, however, intervene to help Eva when she was murdered by Mundus forces, as this event would shape the fated journey that Dante and Virgil would embark on, all of which would eventually lead to the apocalypse. It is implied that Gabriel directed Emmanuel to rescue Virgil from hell. Virgil's repeated failures to escape the demon world only altered when Emmanuel guided him unseen, though some of the denizens of the Inferno had their doubts. When Virgil and Dante were reunited, he continued to keep a close eye on them, only revealing himself to them and their allies when Emmanuel made his presence known to the sons of Sparta, warning them of the impending apocalypse. 
Gabriel knew that Virgil was the first seal to be broken, resulting in Lucifer's eventual rise. But he also knew that by rescuing and reuniting him with Dante, they would be the only ones who could stop Lucifer and Satan. Thank you for your support.